Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video has been so long awaited, but I am finally doing a nursery reveal slash tour slash how I organize Harper's clothes and like all of my baby stuff for her. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. We we're gonna be moving in a couple months, so I thought it would be the perfect time to do it. Her nursery is not exactly the way I envisioned it in my head. It's not perfect, it's not even finished. It's just pretty much as good as it's gonna get in this apartment because it is an apartment. Her room will never be like 100% finished until we are in our forever home. So until then, this is just what it is. I do kind of want to show you guys some like inspiration and some photos of what I want to eventually do with her room. So I'll go ahead and insert some photos here of kind of what I am wanting to achieve once we finally get our house. For like the theme of her nursery, I didn't have like a specific theme in my head of like, oh, I want it to be like all themed this way. But what I did want it to be was very white, clean, which I'm in an apartment. I can't change the wall colors. I wish I could because I hate this wall color. But I wanted it to be white, clean, neutral. I wanted like pops of pink and orange and kind of almost like a, like a beachy theme. Like I just am like really obsessed with like the seashells and like the palm trees, but I want it to be kind of like a girly boho beachy theme. So again, I'm gonna be inserting pictures here so you guys can see what I'm saying because when I describe it, you're probably like, what the heck are you even talking about? Obviously I can't change the wall colors, the flooring in here. Um, I want to do white walls with like an accent wall of some sort of like wallpaper. But again, there's no point in doing that in an apartment. I always knew that we weren't gonna be here longer than a year. So with the rest of my apartment too, I didn't fully finish everything because I'm just waiting to do that once we have a house. With all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around and then also show you how I organize all of Harper's things. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I did a TikTok of how I organize all of Harper's things. So I thought I would kind of walk you through exactly how I organize it, keep it clean, and kind of like how I fold her clothes and stuff because I find that sort of thing is super satisfying. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the tour. So coming into her room, we have this little toy basket right here. This basket is from Target. Also, please ignore my nails. I really need to do that. And then we just have like a bunch of stuffed animals that I was gifted and bought her when I was pregnant. And then this is her dresser right here. So I was going to go with the Hemnes dresser from Ikea. I think that's how you pronounce it. We actually do have that one in our room, but we decided to get this one for her. Again, like I'm not putting too much effort into this because we're going to be moving. This dresser is not going to be making the move. In the future, I would like to get the Hemnes and kind of like customize the uh, like handles and stuff on the drawers the hardware but for now this is her dresser this is going to be replaced eventually but this is what we have for now so we use this as her changing table my number one advice like i know a lot of people just have like the single one where it's like just the three drawers my husband thought that this was completely unnecessary and she needed like a smaller one but I think this was so worth it because you don't realize how much baby stuff you're gonna have. So I think six drawers is so necessary, at least for us, and I'm so glad we decided to do that. And we use it as her changing table as well, which is super nice. Starting from over here, I like to keep all of her diapers and stuff in a little basket so it's easy to grab. And then these are her wipes. We use the Huggies Natural Wipes. These are our favorite. They don't irritate her. They're all natural, which is really nice. And then got this little thing of Aveeno. This is her changing pad. So I think the cover is from Amazon, but the actual like pad itself is the one from Munchkin, um, which is from Target. So as you can see, it has these little grippy things under here, which is really nice so that she can't slide off. And then these are so nice because she is so difficult to change diapers now because she rolls over and sits up. So she doesn't really like to sit still. So this is super nice. I can strap her in and make sure that I can get through a diaper change. Here I have the birth poster. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. They were so nice and gifted this to me. And I think it is the most beautiful and special thing ever. So it has Harper's name, her birthday, and like how much she weighed, how long she was. So I think that's super special to look back on. And she's definitely not that small anymore. And then up here we have this shelf. So again, 
not 100% how I wanted to decorate everything, but I have not bought any decor from her room. So this is just pretty much stuff that I already had in our last apartment. So over here, this print, all of the prints that I'm going to show you, except for one I actually made myself. Um, I really enjoy that kind of stuff and find it fun. And it's a lot cheaper for me to make them myself because a print like this is going to cost you like $30 and I made it for free. And then I have these little pink vases right here. I don't remember where these are from, honestly. And then this is her baby book. I have showed this before. I should probably like bust this thing out and start filling it out because I haven't in a while, but it is so cute and so special. And then these little blocks I got from the Target like dollar section when I was pregnant. So yeah. And then this little basket right here is from Ikea. It's actually a set of three. I have the other two in our room, but I have this one in here. So I keep like her little thermometer and stuff like that in there. And over here, I have this vase right here. This is actually from Target. And again, I used to have our old apartment kind of more, um, like I had more pink decor in our last apartment and I kind of changed it and just decided to move it in here. So this vase was from Target. I definitely don't think they carry it anymore. This was from like, two three years ago maybe and then this is harper's passy from her nap time um we still use the bibs ones i talk about those all the time they are the best and then this right here is the hatch sound machine so we use this every day so i have it set on like a dark blue color and then we use the white noise sound you can change the different sounds and colors and then you just press down to turn it off. I know I've mentioned it before, but this is seriously one of the best products I think we bought. Like I am obsessed with it. And then over here we have our Diaper Genie. So we actually have the Diaper Genie brand. I don't see any issues with it. The other one that we were gonna get, I actually heard a lot of bad things about it. So I'm glad that we decided to go with this one. And then we just keep a couple of the little refills right here. All right, and then moving on to this wall. So this lamp is, I hate it, but it's from Target or something really simple. And then we just keep her little laundry basket over here. This is the swaddle that she sleeps in and it is from Burt's Bees, I think. I think I've talked about it. We always switch between different ones, but they're all like the same like sleep sacks. And then this, I think we got from Bye Bye Baby. Same with her bed sheets. Um, I will try to have it linked below or find something similar. This is just a little mesh insert to go around the crib to make sure that she can't stick her arms all the way through and hurt herself. Although she's pretty much almost at the point where she can like pull herself up in her crib. So we actually just had to lower it down a notch the other day because she was very close to doing that, which is so stressful. This mobile, I'm not the biggest fan of. My husband got it and it's just been here. I eventually wanna get one of those like beaded ones and hang it from the ceiling. But again, apartments, I just don't wanna to do too much in this place, so it's not worth it. Um, I don't know where it's from. I'm pretty sure it's from Amazon. And then our actual crib we got from Bye Bye Baby. I will have the exact one linked below for you guys. It's actually one of those like convertible cribs. She can use it as a crib now. You can lower the mattress all the way down and then take this off right here and put the toddler insert, which is basically just like a little bit shorter. We have it in our closet right now. And then eventually you replace these with really long rails and it can turn into a twin bed. So she will actually have this for a while and I think it's just so smart. It kind of saves you money at the end of the day. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's something she can use literally until she ever upgrades to a bigger size bed. And everything on the wall here. So I got this print right here from At Home, which is like a home decor store, like right across the street from us. And then this print right here and this one over here, again, I actually made those and I'm obsessed with them. That is like the theme of what I want her room to be like in the future. And then this I actually made as well. These two pillows inside of here are from at home too. So I can't really link those things. I don't know if I'll be able to find them because I got them when I was like nine months pregnant. I don't know if I'll be able to find them. And then these little stuffed animals over here, again, are just like the vibe I'm going for, especially the seahorse, like the coloring and everything is what I want to go for. So this is from a brand called Leewood, I think is how you pronounce it. And I have a couple other toys that we got for Harper. I'll link their website and stuff down below. It is the cutest shop. I found them on Instagram and I am obsessed. 
And then this Little Mermaid is from Finn and Emma. They have super cute stuff as well. So obsessed with those. Up here, we have our Owlet camera. So this is amazing. I love this camera. Again, we pair it with the Owlet sock and it is super amazing. There is like a wall mounting kit. So in the future, once we finally move into somewhere permanent, I'm gonna mount it to the wall and probably have it like up this way and find somewhere else to put art. But for now, it's just on the corner right there. Coming over here, we have this little fiddle leaf tree. This is from Ikea. And so is the little basket down there. It still has the tag on it. I never take tags off of stuff. And I'm obsessed with it. I love fiddle leaf trees. This one is super affordable because they can get so pricey. So I love that one. And then we have one more shelf up here. So this is just kind of like random stuff. Again, I haven't really bought in decor. So these are some toys that we got for her. So I will have these linked as well. So this one and this one right here are from Amazon. And I feel like a lot of toys and stuff can just like have like the worst colorings, but I love the colors on these. And then this right here is from Z Gallery. And then I just have this little frame right here that says love at first sight. And it's a picture of her at 20 weeks old and she was so tiny. I would totally rather have a walk-in closet for her because right now I would show you guys her closet, but it is basically, I have like a lot of her like nicer clothes hung up in the closet. I like to hang those outfits, like her rompers and um, I don't know, just a lot of other stuff like dresses and stuff, but it's just like all of her clothes are organized in here, but everything else is just storage because we don't have a garage. So her bassinet, her dock -a -tot, her old like bath and stuff like that is all in here. So I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's not cute in there. And now moving on to the dresser, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I organized everything. This was something that I did back when I was still pregnant, when I was kind of like prepping for her arrival. And it just honestly made everything so much easier once we brought her home because everything was organized and had a home. So this first top drawer is a mixture of things. So we have like all of her like lotions, hair brushes, nose spray, some gripe water, teething gel, which is so necessary right now. And then these are all of her like short sleeve onesies that she wears to bed. So I've showed these before. Over here, we have little bandanas for drool, which she is doing a lot lately because she's teething. Some bath towels, which I'm probably gonna have to give away soon because she is a little too big for those. And then we have some like washcloths and burp cloths as well. Again, most of these things I've talked about in videos, but I will link them again for you guys. And then over on this side, so we got some shoes and there's like a couple more shoes in the back here, but we don't really put shoes on her yet. But these are her little Ugg boots. I'm obsessed with these. We took matching photos in those in the snow. And then we have her socks. These are her turbans and then some hair bows. I think the rest of her turbans are in the diaper bag. And then again, some more short sleeve onesies. And then over here we have bows. All of these are from Bloom Head Wraps and I am obsessed with these. Right now I'm having a hard time styling them because Harper has a lot of hair. So it's been a little difficult. Maybe once it gets a little longer, I can figure that out. And then these are all just like little smaller bows. Again, I bought all these bows thinking that my baby was gonna have short hair and she came out with a lot. So it has been difficult to do her hair. And then we have some hats over here. So this is like her little snow one. And then some of her like little like newborn caps I refuse to give away. <laughs> and this drawer is where we keep like most of her clothes. So these are more like loungewear around the apartment clothes. Again, all of her nicer going out outfits are hung up. So we have like long sleeve onesies, some short sleeve onesies. Um, and then we have her little swimsuit right here. And then these little shorts right here we got off Amazon. They're like muslin material, super lightweight, love those. And then all of these like ribbed outfits are from Amazon and these can get so expensive. So I got all of these on Amazon and they're about like $15 a piece, which is such a good deal. So this one is like a little like strappy one. And then these are my favorite outfits for her. And then they have like the little matching shorts, love those. And then these are all of her leggings. I'm pretty sure some of these don't fit her anymore, but I don't know. I'm usually in denial about switching out clothes and <laughs> donating some of them. And then over here, we have all of her swaddles. Again, I like refuse to get rid of some stuff. 
So these are all like swaddles she used when she was like a newborn. And then we have like her warmer sleep sack. This is like the Solly baby wrap for, um, that I used when she was like a newborn. And then this is just like a changing pad. This drawer is where we keep all of her diapers and wipes. I like to organize everything like this. It just makes me feel better. So we have all of the diapers. We've been buying these ones off Amazon lately because the Hello Bello, the next size up didn't have like the line indicator and we were just so used to it that it was like a shock when we didn't have it. So we decided to get these because it has the line indicator. And then again, the Huggies natural wipes. And then these are just like some random, I think we got these from the hospital. I don't know, we kind of just like use them for random stuff. Then in the last drawer, I'm not super proud of this drawer. It's not extremely organized, but this is like all like breastfeeding and feeding in general stuff. So these are all of the Medela bottles, my hand pump, the Haka. I have like the nursing pads, extra bottles that a lot of this stuff was like gifted and just sits in here. I feel like I should probably like give it away or something. And then these are all of like my pump parts and then some other like breastfeeding stuff. So nothing too exciting. I hate this drawer. All right guys, so that is going to conclude it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see a completed nursery tour like in the future when we get a house, let me know in the comments down below. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. And I will have all of the products linked down below for you guys to check out. Out. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!